We're uh, sitting here at UW Eau Claire with uh, Lance Talmadge, uh, Ho Chunk, the MC of a powwow here at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. And Lance, I'd just like to ask you, what what motivates you or compels you to even uh, you know offer your services or be asked and be willing to come MC powwows? What is it that kind of motivates you to be involved in this way with the powwow circuit? Well, I come from a, a family that. Um, has always had an interest and uh, has passed on to me the knowledge of our history and my family was always involved in uh, presentation type uh, dance programs and I took that interest um, my educational background is in radio and television broadcast and at a younger age when I was in my early 20s I had a relative who operated the Stand Rock Indian Ceremony in Wisconsin Dells, uh, my nanny, uh, Alberta Day, and she had asked me, because of my background in radio and television broadcast, if I would MC the program during the summer months there. And from my experience with, with that, um, it carried over into the powwow scene. And I've always enjoyed being around powwows, enjoyed the, the drum, the singing, um, and quite honestly, I uh, was quite uh, honored to be asked to, to MC Powell. I, I still feel like I'm a young guy, I have a lot to learn, um, but I, I want to help our people out. And, and when people ask me if I would MC, I'm, I'm very honored to, to do that and uh, try to do my very best to share our culture, our, our history, and uh, what little knowledge I have. What are, what are the things that, are, what are the highlights when you're at these events? What, what kind of makes the back of your head tingle at times when you're at these kinds of events? Um, two things, actually. Uh, I really enjoy the, the, young, the young ones, the little ones. Uh, not only are, are they cute, but uh, to see the parents out there with our, our tiny tot dancers uh, and knowing that these traditions, these ways, these beliefs, are being passed on to the little ones. Uh, I enjoy that. Uh, and then I go to the other end of the spectrum. Uh, I really enjoy the golden age dancers because you see uh, the way they carry themselves, the, the dignity that they have, the pride that they uh, exhibit, uh, the grace that they, they have. Uh, and just knowing the, the knowledge that they carry with them. Uh, and so those are the two areas that, that uh, I get a real kick out of. What can non-native people learn from going to these kinds of events? They tend to get this idea that there's a you, 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 or you know, you put your hand over the lips, kind of a music thing. What can non-native people take away from these kinds of things? Well, I think one of the biggest things that, that non-native uh, people that come to the powwows can take away with them is uh, an opportunity uh, to see that that Native people are real people. Um, we're not just uh, people that are living uh, are historical people. Uh, so many times, uh, if, especially if it's their first time to a powwow, they've only maybe read about uh, Native people or maybe have only seen uh, reenactments and they, they put us in a historical context as, as if we're uh, something that is no longer here. But when they see us here at a powwow, and they see the fun that we're having. They see that Native people have humor. Uh, humor is a big part of our culture. And so I think that it really brings uh, those visitors, um, opens their eyes to see that we're living, breathing, uh, and constantly changing and evolving people, uh, just as other societies, other cultures. What, what kind of evol evolution have you seen on the powwow circuit in the last 25, 30 years? It, it seemed like at one time you'd go to some of these events, there'd be a small group of people, one or two drums with some real old people on it. What, what, are, you, what are you seeing on the powwow circuit? Uh, a couple of different things. Um, I see that um, there are a lot more youth involved. You look at our dance categories here today, and um, we had a lot of youth participating. Uh, that is encouraging. Um, we also see uh, what I've noticed. Um, 
and this is maybe for my own dance background as well, it's something that, that uh, I'm guilty of, but I see that um, we're, it's getting harder to distinguish a uh, individual's uh, tribal background to some extent. As I know with, with myself, I've seen things that I like from other tribal groups uh, that catch my eye. And so I incorporate that into my regalia, my dance outfit. Um, so it's a little more uh, blending of, of cultures. Some people might call that uh, pan-Indianism a little bit. Uh, and yet, does, does the powwow circuit, you think, reinforce the identity, uh, the tri individual tribal identities? Can people find themselves by starting maybe at the powwow circuit and, and going you know, following the footsteps backwards uh, of their relatives from where they came from? Oh, absolutely they can. Uh, I think a powwow is a great place to, to make those connections. Um, if you're searching for, for your tribal identity, come to a powwow. Don't be afraid to, to speak to the dancers. Ask them questions. Um, ask them uh, what they know about their tribal history, what they can share with you about your own tribal history. Um, the dances, the songs, the language. Um, we had a great example here today of uh, the group that um, had the raffle for the um, Ojibwa language, CDs, DVDs, books. Um, and so a powwow is a great place to make connections with people that can help you on your journey as you rediscover uh, your own tribal identity and who you are as a human being. Your, your family seem to have always reached out as educators and uh, speakers and lecturers. Uh, you, you've got a, a brother and a sister and a family that's been involved in a lot of things. If people wanted to connect with that educational opportunity, how, how could they reach you? You got an email or something that people could give you, a, drop you a line? Um, absolutely. I am, the, I am involved in uh, public education. I work... Uh, in the Wisconsin Dell School District as the uh, Native American Student Services Quarter Coordinator and I can be reached through email at that address which is L Tallmad T A L L M A D at S D W D dot K one two dot W I dot U S. Um, and as you said, you know my family has been involved in, in education. Uh, I was very fortunate that uh, my parents were both actively involved and very proud of our culture and our history and they made sure that uh, myself and my siblings uh, understood where we came from and more importantly that we had an obligation uh, to share that knowledge with uh, people as they came forward and asked us uh, about that. We're very proud of who we are and uh, we want to make people aware that as native people, we are here, we are living, breathing people, and we, we laugh, we cry, we have feelings just as anybody else does. And uh, we wanted to share that. Uh, thank you, uh, Pina Gigi, for speaking with us. This is Paul Domain for Indian Country TV. Again, uh, thanks for talking with us. Right. Pina Gigi, thank you.